We're going to take a look at the UL2 def system now. There's a UL2 pump and then a UL2 type injector, def injector. Uh, the pump is very simple. If you remember, the other pump had uh, a harness with a number of wires in it. I think there's about uh, eight, if I remember right. There was three def fittings on the pump. And then you had um, an internal heater in there. So this pump is just a pump and it uses uh, coolant from the engine to heat the body of the pump and it is able to pump in one direction and then reverse directions when you shut the key off to pull the death fluid back out of the system. So uh, it's got a filter in it that you screw on on the bottom, screw up in. It's a two-piece assembly, really simple, so I wasn't going to go into that. And it's got a four-pin plug that feeds it, and it is pulse-width driven so that they can control the pressure like they did with the other pump. It's just a little bit different style. So this system uh, uses a lot more def. Uh, it, flows, it flows more, I should say. It doesn't use more. It flows more through the system. And the, uh, the DEF injector that you'll see in the next video actually uses DEF to um, help cool itself. So uh, let's take a look. So here's that pump. And it's probably about almost a foot long. And the top's about uh, five inches square there. And two stainless fittings on the top, which is actually the side when it's, because the pump is mounted vertically with the, um, the right side of the pump standing up in the air and the left side pointing towards the ground. The two stainless fittings are where the def fluid goes in and out. So one's a suction and one's a pressure and then it just reverses flow when it wants to change. On the other two fittings you see, those are heater hose fittings and that's how they uh, heat the pump to thaw the def out and keep the def thawed when it gets cold. And here is the bottom of the pump. I've got it sitting upside down on my desk. And that what looks like a great big hex there, that is where you grab it with channel locks or, or tool to uh, loosen that housing and unscrew it. And the filter goes inside. There's a kind of a two-piece thing that goes in there, but it's, it's pretty easy. So you, simple maintenance. Just change the filter and you're good to go. The good news is we haven't really had any problem with these pumps so far, so they seem very reliable. Uh, we'll see as time goes on. This is the part number of a 12 volt pump, 5506956. And uh, the, on the left are the two coolant fittings that you see there. And the pumps are 12 and 24 volt, I believe, because the 12 volt pump is fed by a relay. One of the pins directly gets voltage from a relay that goes right to the battery through a fuse and one of the wires goes right to a, a chassis ground. Here is the connector and so one of the pins is a uh, good ground and the schematic shows that it's a chassis ground. The other one is a 12 volt, if it's 12 volt system, 12 volt feed through a relay, the ECM powers the relay up and then it's fed battery voltage through a fuse. The other pin is a control feedback from the ECM to maintain pressure and the other pin is the uh, control pin that tells the pump how fast it needs to turn to maintain the pressure. The pressure is measured inside of the smart def injector.